My name is Colleen Iverson. I'm an ecosystem ecologist in the Environmental Sciences Division and the Climate Change Science Institute here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. If atmospheric CO2 increases, if temperatures are warmer, if precipitation regimes change, how does that affect plant growth? Do plants grow more? Do they store more carbon? Do they slow the rise in atmospheric CO2? Those are the questions that we're interested in answering and informing the model representation of those processes helps us better predict what the world is going to look like in a hundred years. So specifically, I'm interested in what's going on below ground, below our feet. So the interface between plant roots and the soil. And specifically, not the roots that you think about when you walk around in the forest when you see big roots coming up from the soil, but very, very narrow diameter roots that are actually thinner than the cord that connects your iPhone to your earbuds. I'm actually working on um, several large-scale experiments that are investigating the effects of elevated CO2 and warmer temperatures on how plants grow. So I'm working in a bog in northern Minnesota, looking at what roots are doing in soil that's not soil that you would normally think of. So it's not made of mineral particles like sand and silt. It's actually 12 feet deep of dead plants. And so the roots are growing into all these dead plants, and so we're interested in how the roots are going to respond to elevated CO2 or warmer temperatures. I'm also working on an experiment in Barrow, Alaska. So it's also a different type of soil there. It's called polygonal tundra. So the way that the ice wedges beneath the soil are thawing in response to warmer temperatures is actually changing the topography of the system. So we're interested in how changes in the topography and the wetness of the soil and the temperatures over time affect plant growth and specifically plant roots and nutrient uptake and carbon feedback to the atmosphere. I think the grand challenge of environmental science or ecosystem ecology in general is understanding the fundamental relationships among different parts of an ecosystem. So how are trees relating with the soil and the fungi and the bacteria there? How are those fungi and bacteria affecting the nutrient cycle that feeds back to the forest? All of these things are intertwined but complicated. And so getting a better grasp on the relationship between all of those things helps us better predict what the future will hold. There's always something new to learn. So no matter how many experiments you do, how many things you investigate, the best ones are the ones that answer a question and raise a new question. And I think that's what's exciting about science. I've been interested in science since I can remember. Actually, my parents are both geologists. Um, and that made me not want to be a geologist because all of our family vacations were stopping at sort of a road cut on a highway and looking at a rock formation. But I've always been interested in, in why, why things are the way they are.